This is Amender from Team Amender, your online training coach. Back again with a video, this time with your own favorite body part, biceps, and the exercise which we've chosen is barbell curls. So little description about what the bicep itself is. It says the name, the biceps is a bi, means two head muscle. So if you can see the bicep over here, we just elaborated over here. The bicep has two heads, the insertion, the starting point of the two heads, one the long head or a short head, the, the, the short head over here and the long head over here, the long head starts from, again, both starts from the, uh, the scapula area from different angles, one from the shoulder and from directly from this thing, but the, both inserts at one spot over here, that's a radius over here in the forearm, it means both muscles crosses two joint. It means the involvement of two joints is going to be there, taken care in order to actually activate this bicep. But we are talking over here, the more precise training which the bicep over here is a barbell because it's one of the very, very good exercises for the overall development of the, of the arm. There are other exercises also of the bicep, but this is one of the part of the exercises for overall development of the biceps. Uh, little things about the joint itself, it's an elbow moving joint, so elbow is basically a hinge joint. You can see hinge, hinge is this which is known as a kabja of any door which you see it. It just opens on one part and closes on one part. You can't change it if you just try to bend it a little bit also. There's going to be friction created on these parts and in the long run it might get damaged. This is the same thing on the elbow and now you have to fix. If it is a hinge joint, it means there is one position of the hinge which is moving up the elbow and we need to choose that position of a person and differs from person to person. Now the elbow itself has a, it's not of course, it's not a straight arm over here. If you see the description over here, if you can see if you just a pick over here, uh, this is the arm of a normal person in which this, you can see a little deviation over here. That's a carrying angle over here, little deviation. So you can see this arm actually with every person has a little deviation so that the carrying effect is there. Otherwise, if the arm is straight, it's going to bang up over here. So it's, it differs from person to person in order to do the exercise. So what we have to do in order to now, the, the thing comes, what is the right gripping for the, the muscle to activate? First of all, I'll tell you, it's just changing the grips of the exercise by making it close grip or a broad grip doesn't changes the involvement of a long head or a short head, it remains same. Now we talk about what exactly is the right angle of taking up uh, the position then. If I say I want to hold it from the broad or a close ground, I don't know, it all depends upon person to person. So what do you have to do it? You have to see your own division angle of the arm. So what do you have to do? And we have we a have couple of uh, volunteers over here, gathered over here, in which we will show you that how the division of the arm changes in different uh, person, person to person. So they're just standing in normal, uh, normal condition. They're all standing in the normal, but when they open up the arm, open up the palms of their hands, open up the palms of their hands, you will see, you will see every angle from there. So even a girl is a deviation. If you can see an angle deviated over here, if you can see the angle deviated over here, you can see the angle deviated over here, you will see a big deviation over here, you will see a normal deviation over here, and you can see a nice big deviation over here. So it all depends upon person to person how the deviation is happening. You have to check your own uh, deviation, open the palm of your hands, and see what is the deviation, and that's actually your right gripping position. If you try to grip it some other position, the hinge which we're talking about is going to be spoiled. It means if my hinge is over here, my movement is all secured over here. If I try to do it over here, in the long run, my forearm, the muscle is going to be, a joint is going to be in a problematic condition in the long run, it might get damaged. So you have to choose an angle which is your angle of the movements. The second thing that comes into is, is do we talk about the precise training of the bicep or we are involving other because there's the two joint movements. So it means the shoulder movement also is going to be there and to, to, there's going to be involvement of the bicep but we're talking about the precision training of the barbell curls. So slight improvement, slightly uh, deviation, a slight changes in the elbow also is going to be involving our shoulder muscles over here and it's all up to you how strict you want to do it. So I just need one person as a volunteer over here. See this guy? 
see just movement of this thing he's going to do a bicep curl and he's going to take this arm up over here like this if the elbow is like strict over here and of course the involvement of the bicep is going to be there but if changes of this elbow comes over here the load on this bicep is going to be very very less because the involving muscle has changed okay so it's a precision training that you have to actually hold this forearm or fold the elbow is over here and just move the elbow joint over here for the maximum benefit of the bicep it's not that moving this elbow is going to destroy anything but yes the involvement the of the bicep is going to be less the load on the bicep is going to be distributed along with this and this so as much you can keep it you have to keep it over here so thank you so much and and it's not only the forearm involvement when we do the exercises i have seen number of guys doing and sort of a thing over here by loading and proving them this this yes they are very good on the exercise floor maybe because of some ego problem or ego lifting that's how it goes if, if, if i've seen number of guys doing it like this this is one of the angle that moves up but with a heavy loader i have seen the guys actually involving the the hip also along with it it means the hip joint also comes into play so rather than the bicep precise training of the bicep i am doing it there's a number of other muscles that involves and give you a lift heavy just to show that you are good tough enough that doesn't make you tough for the bicep so you need to make very very sure so the what what qualifications you have to do it you have to just stand by your part open up the palm of your hands take a nice grip over here with the deviation you have it and just you have to move the forearm in order to make the the max benefit of creating a bicep muscle that's all for the, this mass this video we'll see you for the next video for more and if you really want to have a nice biomechanic liver shop our mentor max levin is coming from abroad now this time a date will be updated to you if you really want to have a nice workshop four day workshop is coming for you do take a part for learning the right mechanics of the entire body see you have a nice weekends goodbye